You might have heard the news that a website has been hacked and the hackers managed to gain RCE access to the website and its database, but have you ever wondered how hackers do that? In this video, we are going to take a look at some techniques that hackers commonly use to compromise websites. Hacking a website doesn't always mean gaining shell access to the web server. Defacing a website or dumping its database is also considered hacking, with remote code execution being one of the most dangerous vulnerabilities. Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. Everything shown here is conducted in a secure environment with proper authorization. Performing any of the actions demonstrated in this video on a website without the owner's permission is completely illegal and strictly prohibited. Imagine you have created a website using only HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You might think it's super secure since it's based on basic web technologies, but you'd be wrong. If your website has even a single input tag, it could potentially be exploited. One common attack is called XSS, where a remote attacker finds a way to execute JavaScript on your website. Let me explain this with a simple website I've made to demonstrate how how XSS attacks work. Here's the website. It has an input box where users can enter their email to receive notifications. Now, instead of entering an email, an attacker could use their knowledge and input a malicious JavaScript snippet. For example, they could insert a script tag that triggers an alert when executed by the browser. As you can see, the website executed the malicious JavaScript payload. It might seem less dangerous, but it can cause chaos if properly planned. For instance, an attacker could steal users' cookies or even deface the website. Many websites online are still vulnerable to this attack. The best way to protect against XSS is to implement proper input sanitization. Most websites rely on databases in their backend, such as SQL, MySQL, and others. These databases are especially common in dynamic websites that display different results for different users. SQL databases are the most frequently used. Now imagine you have a website like the one on your screen. The page has a parameter ID set to 1. If we change it to 2, the content changes. This indicates that the website might be vulnerable to SQL injection. To test this, we can copy the page URL and use a tool called SQL Map, which is powerful for finding SQL injection vulnerabilities. As you can see, the tool confirms that this website is vulnerable, and it has revealed its database. SQL injection is a very dangerous attack, allowing hackers to dump the entire database of the website. For this demonstration, we are using a legal website provided specifically for testing vulnerabilities. It's a safe environment for learning and practicing. Now imagine you've created a website for yourself that allows you to execute commands on your system remotely from anywhere in the world to manage your tasks. This type of website could be vulnerable to a remote code execution attack where a hacker can gain direct access to your web server and completely take control of it. For example, here's a website with an input box that takes Linux commands, executes them on the server, and displays the output. If an attacker finds this site, and enters malicious code instead of a legitimate command, they could easily gain a reverse shell. As you can see on the screen, I now have a reverse shell, giving me access to the website's web server. From here, I could escalate privileges to gain root access, giving me complete control over the server. I could access databases, modify or delete website content, and much more. There are many other vulnerabilities that make websites insecure. These were just a few examples. If you want to learn more about website hacking and web penetration testing, let me know in the comment section, and I'll create more videos on these topics. For now, that's all I have for you. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave any questions about today's video in the comments, and let me know how I can improve my content so that you can enjoy and learn something new.